Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Today's video is on solving simultaneous equations. This video is going to be on solving linear simultaneous equations using the elimination method only. There will be a separate video on solving simultaneous equations using substitution. Right, let's get started. So, when you're solving simultaneous equation, a bit of background. Um, you've got two straight line graphs when you're solving linear simultaneous equations and they meet at a p particular point and we are finding the coordinates of that point. Now using the elimination method, we need to make sure that one of the coefficients have the same absolute value. What do I mean by this? Right, <clears throat> a little bit of background. So the absolute value of the number 5 is 5 and the absolute value of the number minus 5 is also 5 so what we want to do is make sure that either the coefficient of x or the coefficient of y have the same absolute value if that's not the case then we need to multiply one or both of them to make sure that they have the same absolute value we'll look at three examples today Let's get started, right? So my first example, I've got two equations, 3x plus 2y equals 22, and 2x minus y is equal to 3. Neither of them have the same absolute values. The coefficients of x are different, the coefficients of y are different. I'm going to call this equation 1. And this equation 2. I'm going to try and make the... Um, absolute values of the y is the same so the coefficient of uh, y the same so I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2 and the first equation I'll leave it as it is so this in turn would look like this my first equation will remain the same 3x plus 2y equals 22 my second equation will look like this so I'm going to do 2x times 2 is 4x minus y times 2 is minus 2y and 3 times 2 is 6. Now the coefficients of y have the same absolute value. The absolute value of 2 is 2. The absolute value of minus 2 is 2. Brilliant. Now I need to make a decision. Do I add these two equations or do I subtract these two equations in order to eliminate one of the letters? If I look at that, if the so I've decided I want to eliminate the y, that's why the absolute values of the the y is the same. Here we go. So that's two and that's minus two. The absolute value of both of them is two. Okay. Now if their signs are different, the signs of the letter I'm trying to get rid of. So the one with the same with the coefficients that have the same absolute value. If their signs are different. And then I'm going to add the two equations, right? If the signs are the same, then I'm going to subtract. So in this case, I'm going to add the two equations. Let's get my line ready. Okay, let's get ready to add. Okay, <clears throat> so 3x, let me use this. 3x add 4x will give me 7x. Okay, now 2y add minus 2y will give me 0. So I'm, this is going to cancel out. I'm going to cross it off. Uh, and then 22 add 6 is 28. So I've got 7x is equal to 28. And in order to get x, I'm going to divide both sides by 7. which leaves me with x equals 4. Now, once I've got my x value, I am going to substitute the x value into one of the original equations, either equation 1 or 2, to get my y value. So I'm going to use um, 2 this time. So I know 2x minus y is equal to 3. 
uh, 2x is 2 times x, so 2 times 4, because x is 4, minus y equals 3, 2 times 4 is 8, minus y equals 3. There's two ways of solving this. One way is I could subtract 8 both sides, which gives me minus y is equal to minus 5, and then I divide both sides by minus 1 to give me y or y is equal to 5. Another way of solving it could have been I'd add y both sides and then subtract 3 would give me 5 as well. Now once I've worked this out, let me change color, use red. I need to check whether I've done this right. I know the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 5. If I've done these two equations correctly, if I have solved them correctly, then these two equations should work out. So 3 times 3x three would be 3 times 4 that would give me 12 because x is 4 and 2y would be 2 times 5 which would be 10 and 12 plus 10 is going to give me 22 so the first equation works out let's try the second one 2 times 4 is 8 right minus 5 y is 5 8 minus 5 is 3 it works out so since these two work out my equation has been solved correctly let's have a look at another example right so this time we've got two equations again so let's start off by numbering them number one and number two okay so 4a plus 3b equals 30 and 5a plus 2b equals 34. so this time let's try and make the a's the same um, so I'm going to have to multiply both the equations this time. So I'm going to multiply this by 5 and this by 4. So 4a times 5 is 28. 3b times 5 is 15b. And 30 times 5 is 150. Okay. Now, the second equation was 5a plus 2b equals 34. Let's try this. So, 5a times 4 is 20a. So, can we see the coefficients of a are the same? Same absolute value, same signs as well this time. Right, 2b times 4 is 8b. And 34 times 4. 30 times 4 is 120. 4 times 4 is 16. 136 I believe 136 okay so we come back to the coefficient of the letter we want to get rid of so the one is with the same absolute value as 20 and 20 right so whoa what happened there okay 20a and 20a now both of them have the same sign so in order to get rid of them, I have to subtract. I can't add this time because if I add them, that would become 48. But I want to eliminate that letter. So in order to eliminate it, I need to subtract. Can I fit in the word subtract? Just about. Let's draw our line. Okay. So let's start off. So 20A subtract. 20a that's going to be zero so that cancels out i'm going to cross it out the next thing 15b subtract 8b that gives me 7b and then the last bit is 150 subtract 136 that's 14 Now, in order to get to B, I divide both sides by 7, again, and B equals 2. Now, I've got the value of B. I'm going to substitute B back into equation 1 or 2. This time, I'm going to choose uh, 1. So, 4A, oops, right, plus 3B equals 30. We know the value of B is 2 so it would be sorry about that 4a plus 
3 times 2 is equal to 30. For a plus 8 is equal to 30. Now this is a simple in equation. You subtract 8 both sides. It gives you 4a. Oops, I made a mistake. 3 times 2 is not 8. 3 times 2 is 6. Thank you very much. 4a plus 6 is equal to 30. Subtract 6 both sides. So 4a is equal to 24. And I divide both sides by 4. Which gives me the value for a has 6. Again, we need to check whether we've done this right. You know, so we're going to use our values. 4 times 6, 4a is 4 times a. 4 times 6 is 24. And 3 times 2 is uh, 6. 24 plus 6 is 30. So the first equation checks out. Second one, 5 times 6 is 30. And uh, 2 times 2 is 4. So 30 plus 4 is 34. Second equation checks out. Let's go to our final example. Right. Let's start off. Again, we start off by labeling our equation. Number 1. Number 2. Right. I'm going to make the y's the same this time. It saves me some time with the multiplying. So I'm going to only multiply the first one by 3. So 2x times 3 gives me 6x. Minus y times 3 is minus 3y. And 7 times 3 is 21. The second equation, I'm going to leave it just as it is. Now the absolute value of the coefficient of y is the same. The signs are also the same. When the signs are the same for the coefficient I'm trying to get rid of, I'm going to subtract again. Let's draw that line. Where's my line? Okay, <clears throat> let's get ready with subtraction. So 6x subtract 3x. That'll give me 3x. Minus 3y subtract minus 3y. That would become minus 3y plus 3y, which would give me 0. So this crosses off and then 21 subtract 6, that's 15. Now in order to get x, I divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 5. Okay, I found the value of x. Um, let's use equation 1. 2x minus y is equal to 7. So 2 times 5 minus y equals 7. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus y equals 7. I'm going to subtract by 10 both sides. So minus y is equal to minus 3. And I divide both sides by minus 1, which gives me the y value of 3. Again, I've solved these equations, but I need to check whether they're correct. So I'm going to substitute them back into the two equations, see if they check out. 2 times x, so 2 times 5 is 10, minus, and y is 3, so 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, so this one works. Right. Let's try for the second one, 3 times x is 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 3 times 3, which is 9, 15 minus 9 is 6, and it works. Okay, so that's how you use the elimination method to solve simultaneous equations. I'll do another video, inshallah, soon on solving simultaneous equations using the substitution method, uh, both linear and nonlinear. Hope this helps. All the best for your exams. Assalamu alaikum.